Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. In this video, I'd like to share with you learner driver driving mistakes in the driving test. There are many mistakes the learners are making in the driving test. So in this video, I'd like to share with you five driving mistakes the learners are making in the driving test. And because of that, they're failing the driving test. Let's start the lesson. So number one is meeting traffic or meeting oncoming traffic. So when I say meeting traffic, what do I mean? What is meeting traffic? Meeting traffic is where there's no space for two cars. Maybe because there's parked cars on both sides or maybe because there's road work or maybe because there are cars on one side and because of that, the road becomes narrow and there's no space for two cars for you and for the cars coming from the opposite to come, there's no space. In those situations, what the learners are doing, they are pushing the other car to stop every time. And you will fail your test for that. So if it's a situation where there is no space for two cars, what do you do? How do you deal with those situations? You drive in a way so that you are always looking for the gaps, either on your side or on the opposite. So if there's somebody coming, you take control, go into the gap and then face out so that you are ready for the other car to go. As you are trying to stop, if they stop for you, it's a bonus. But don't push the other car to stop. If you keep pushing, one day the other car is not going to stop and what's going to happen? You're both going to end up in the middle and no one can go because maybe you've got cars behind you, they go car behind them and you're going to be stuck. And this is why you will fail your test for that if you keep pushing. So if you are in a situation where there is no space for two cars, don't push the other car to stop. Find the gap either on your side, go in, or face out, or could be on the other side, on the opposite, meaning you stop on your side and they could go into the gap and go. Always find those gaps when you are driving on a road where there is no space for two cars because of parked cars. Okay, so when you are dealing with the meeting traffic or meeting oncoming traffic, don't push the other car or you will fail your test for that. Number two, dealing with junctions. Many learners, they fail because they are not preparing themselves to deal with the junction. So for example, you are coming up to a giveaway line and you have to give way to the cars on the main road. Okay, as you approach, you should be thinking, there is a giveaway line, how am I going to deal with that? What do I need to do? Do I need to stop? Because what does giveaway line mean? Do you understand what the giveaway line means? Do you have to stop at the giveaway line? Or do you have to give way? What if there's nobody there? What if you stop anyway? What does that mean? Are you going to fail your test for that? Because first of all, you have to understand what is giveaway line? What does it mean? It means that if there is somebody on the main road, you have to give way to them. And if there's no one there, you don't stop. This is what the giveaway line is telling you, okay? Many learners, they get that wrong. They think that I'm going to stop anyway if there's nobody there to be safe. Well, you will fail your test for that. Why? Because you've just broken the rule what the giveaway line is telling you. What is the giveaway line for? It's for flow the traffic, okay? If there's nobody coming and if you could see early, then you don't stop because there's nobody there to stop. That's what the giveaway line is all about. If there's nobody there, you don't stop. If there's someone there, then you stop. So when you are coming up to a junction, you need to think and ask yourself that can I see if there's someone coming? So I'm going to look both ways and there's no one coming. You need to prepare yourself to go. Are you prepared? Are you slowing down? Are you at the right gear or the correct gear? Did you signal? Are you at the right position or the correct position? So these are the things you should be thinking already in advance so that you deal with the junction correctly. Okay, many learners, they're not thinking when they're dealing with junctions. So when there is a junction coming up and there is a giveaway line, think what you need to do. Think, do I have the priority or am I in the minor road where I have to give way to the cars on the main road? And if I do, is there cars there? If there isn't, do I have to stop? So dealing with junctions is where many learners, they fail because they're not prepared and they're not thinking in advance how they're going to deal with the junction, okay? Number three is the stop line. Okay, now we talked about the giveaway line. What does it mean? It means that if there is nobody there, you don't stop. If there is, you stop. But what if there is a stop line? What does that mean? Many learners, they fail on a stop line with a stop sign is because they don't stop fully. 
remember the stop line is there because you need to stop unless you stop you can't really see the junction is dangerous unless you stop they don't put stop line everywhere they only put stop line is where they feel unless you stop it is dangerous you need to stop and see if it's safe okay so if you don't stop fully by law you have to stop on a stop line and let me repeat by law you have to stop on a stop line and this is why i say to my learners is to stop and put the handbrake on that confirms that you stop fully the law is to stop you don't have to put the handbrake on but i say put the handbrake on why because that confirms that you stopped fully because if you stop and you think you stopped and the car actually kept on going really slowly and you didn't really stop you will fail your test for that and many times many learners they think they stopped but according to the examiner they didn't because the car was still moving slowly and they failed their test for that it's because it's against the law not to stop and that's why i say stop put the handbrake on it confirms you stopped and then go obviously don't stop like and stay there for a few million years now all i'm saying is stop put the handbrake on get the car ready quickly then see if it's safe and then go the other thing about junction or dealing with a uh, stop line is when you stop make sure you get the car ready quickly get your car prepared quickly if your car is not prepared soon as you find a gap you're not going to be able to go because you're not ready so soon as you stop because there is car or it's a stop line stop and get the car ready quickly meaning whatever car you're driving whether it's a manual or automatic get the car ready quickly so you're ready to go as soon as you find a gap you go many learners they're not ready they take too long to get ready or they just wait and by the when they find the gap then they're trying to get ready and it's too late you're going to lose the gap okay so as soon as you stop quickly get the car ready prepared to go and then as soon as you find the gap you go so I was saying about the stop line it means you have to stop and my advice is put the handbrake on and then go when it's ready safe to do so next is the roundabout many learners they feel confused on their dealing with roundabouts is because they don't have enough knowledge or they haven't done enough training on roundabout so if they need to go left or straight or right they feel confused or they have the knowledge but they're not quick enough in their mind and by the time they are thinking it's too late because the roundabout is already there so make sure you understand the principle of roundabouts the meaning of roundabouts the lane that you need where you need to go when you need to signal which lane do you need to go left to go straight to go right when do you signal because unless you have full understanding the theory of how to deal with roundabouts it is always going to be difficult for you to make your mind up quickly because the car is not stopping car is moving and by the time you think and if you take too long to think which lane you need when to signal you're already there then it's going to be too late now you are maybe in the wrong lane and you are signaling wrong way or you haven't signaled where you should have signaled early so make sure you understand roundabouts fully and you don't feel confused about roundabouts to go right which lane do you need when do you need to signal do you need to signal to come off do you need to look at the blind spot there are three lanes on the roundabout which lane do i need so these are the things you need to know you need to ask yourself and if you feel confused make sure you learn and ask your driving instructor to help you with that remember when you're learning with the driving instructor you're not just paying for them teaching you you also paying for their knowledge so make sure you ask them because you will only learn if you ask if you don't ask you're not going to learn so make sure you ask your driving instructor if you feel confused on something so that you are fully ready when you go to the test you have all the answers that you need about roundabouts that way when you are coming on a roundabout you're not going to feel confused because many learners the reason they fail is because they feel confused with the roundabouts they don't have the full understanding of roundabouts or they need to think and by the time they are thinking the roundabout is already there so make sure you fully understand what roundabout is all about and make sure you know which lane you need and when you need to signal that way in the test you are fully ready to deal with roundabouts and lastly anticipation and when i say anticipation what do i mean what is anticipation when it comes to driving anticipation is where you need to read the road and always be ready for unexpected this is what we mean when we say anticipation when it comes to driving you always have to be ready for unexpected things are happening all the time there are many things on the road there are parked cars there are people 
roadworks. There are many things on the road, things are happening. Are you reading on your driving? Are you ready for the unexpected? So you are driving on a road where there are plenty of parked cars. What could happen? A door could open. Somebody could cross the road. What speed can you drive on that road? The road is 30. Can you do 30? The car in front signaling. What could happen? They could slow down. What do I need to do? When they go in, there could be another car coming from that road. So are you ready for all those things? There's a junction coming up. In that junction, does it have a giveaway line or is it a stop line? What's the speed of this road? Did I miss the sign for the speed? There's a traffic light coming up. What could happen? Is it going to change? There's a crossing. Is there anybody to cross the road? Did they press the button? The traffic light could change. So these are the things that come under anticipation. You always have to read the road so that you are ready for the unexpected. If something happens, you are ready. So when you're driving, always be ready. Always read the road and always anticipate what is happening. That way, you're always going to be ready if something happens. So that's the five driving problems or driving mistakes the learners are making in the driving test and they're failing the driving test for that. In the future lessons, I will share more mistakes. But in this one, these are the five I am sharing. I hope it helps. If it does, please do give a thumbs up and please do make a comment what you think of the video. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and hope to see you again on the next video. Bye for now.